Meanwhile, in New Hampshire, during a campaign stop, Republican presidential candidate, former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley, was asked this question by an audience member. Quote, what was the cause of the Civil War? This is how Governor Haley responded. What was the cause of the United States Civil War? Well, don't come with an easy question or anything. I mean, I think the cause of the Civil War was basically how government was going to run, the freedoms and what people could and couldn't do. What do you think the cause of the Civil War was? I'm sorry? I'm not running for president. I, 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 I wanted to see uh, your That's a good thing. on the cause of the Civil War. I mean, I think it always comes down to the role of government and what the rights of the people are. And we, I will always stand by the fact that I think government was intended to secure the rights and freedoms of the people. It was never meant to be all things to all people. Government doesn't need to tell you how to live your life. They don't need to tell you what you can and can't do. They don't need to be a part of your life. They need to make sure that you have freedom. We need to have capitalism. We need to have economic freedom. We need to make sure that we do all things so that individuals have the liberties so that they can have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom to do or be anything they want to be without government getting in the way. Thank you. And in, in the year 2023, it's astonishing to me that you answer that question without mentioning the word slavery. What do you want me to say about slavery? No, um, uh, you've answered my question. Thank you. Next question. So Nikki Haley fails to mention slavery, right? Has a slavery debacle. Everybody's talking about it, right? And I think it's very interesting that that came up at this point in time, right? And you say, well, why would this Indian woman who's, for, who's an Indian immigrant who changed her name to Nikki Haley and, and got rid of her, you know, ethnic Indian name so she could seem more European, right? Why, you know, why wouldn't, why didn't she want to mention slavery while discussing the Civil War when asked what was the cause of the Civil War? I mean, that's a, it's a, that's a good, good question, right? And you know, there's there's a couple different reasons for that, but then there's also some some, some prophetic um, undertones to that. And, and it, you know, since we're in these end times, right? And so the reason why is because, well, number one, Ilhan Omar did the same thing, right? See, when immigrants come to this country, they don't give a damn about what happened to the black people that the American descendants of slavery that was in America. And she proved that. She's like, look, I don't, I don't got shit to do with that. I'm not getting into that. I'm here to pander to white people, right? I want to make white people feel more comfortable. I don't want to do, I don't, you know, they got this thing, critical race theory, right? And and so, you know, where basically, um, if you talk about what happened in history as far as the the, the oppression and the slavery and the genocide they committed against blacks, Indians, et cetera, in America, then you are you are criticizing them and you know, you're you it's reverse racism or something like that, right? And and basically it's them trying to whitewash history and make their self look like something that they not. Right? Since white people are trying to make themselves look good and clean up their act. So they say, hey, we don't want nobody, you know, talking about slavery. Next thing you know, these niggers will be asking for reparations, right? So, you know, we want to whitewash all of that kind of stuff. And, you know, uh, it's racist if, against us if you bring that up. And so you get immigrants like Nikki Haley who come to America to help white people, you know, uh, cover up, you know, they'll say, they'll, they'll point to Nikki Haley and say, see, we're not racist, we elected this immigrant from India, but look at what she's doing, that's why they, that's why they support her, or Obama, see, now, she's a, she's an Indian immigrant, Obama, his father's from uh, Africa, his mother's from, uh, is a slave owner from Kansas, right, her family, right, and it's the same kind of thing. Right? They're not really connected to your struggle. They come from really immigrants, you see. And so, or outside groups, they are outside of American descendants of slavery. So they don't really give a shit. 
it's not their problem, right? And they're here to pander to whoever is going to pay them the most money. And they know the Negroes ain't got no political power, no juice in America, right? So they they come here to pander to white people. So she's pandering to racist white people. Nikki Haley is an ardent supporter of the Zionist apartheid regime, uh, the synagogue of Satan that is in Israel right now, slaughtering uh, 10,000 children and claiming that they defending themselves against terrorism. Right? That's her, you know, these are her, this is her in group. And the Negro is in the out group. So the in group is the uh, white, racist, Nazi, fascist, uh, cult group, Jewish cult group, right? That is slaughtering, you know, 10,000 children and, and committing a genocide and ethnic cleansing in Israel, right? And the uh, and their, you know, partners in America. They're white, racist, Nazi, fascist partners in America, right? This is her in-group. And see, the Negro is in the out-group. So... She feels compelled to pander to these two groups. You see, because these are the, these are the people that are in power. Which is a smart move, right? That's a smart move, right? Just like the Dominican, I know black, right? Why would you? Why would you? You know, throw your lot in with a bunch of losers, right? You said the Negro is losing. He he's at the bottom in America, right? The Palestinian Arab is losing. Why would you throw your lot in with a bunch of losers? So why wouldn't you come to America and say, let me look around, let me see who's on top. And, you know, but that's a given. We all know. Even in Africa, we know who's on top, right? And then I'm going a, I'm to a throw my support and I'm going to, you know, shine their shoes and get behind them. So what Nikki Haley is doing is predictable. Just like Ilhan Omar, just like Barack Obama, just like, you know, fill in the blanks, right? Again, Richie Torres, the, the the Dominican black, you know, guy from New York City who's like a crazy Zionist, right? Just like all of the, you know, black supporters uh, in the Congressional Black Caucus in America that support the state of Israel, which is an apartheid state. Go figure. But they claim that they, they trying to help black people, the victims of apartheid in America, Right? How could the how could the Congressional Black Caucus, who supports the Zionist apartheid racist Nazi state of Israel, be helping you if you're a black person in America? You can't go left and right at the same time. You can't go up and down at the same time. Right? You can't go in and out at the same time, right? It's even one or the other. So they obviously they're not helping anybody. She, they're not helping anybody. They're on the other side, right? Because they, that's the side that the biscuit is buttered on, right? So all these immigrants that come here, they do the same thing, like Nikki Haley. You see? Because if not, they wouldn't have fled their country, right? They didn't flee their country to come over here and help black people in America or flee their country to, you know, whatever, to support. They're not going to do that because black people don't got shit that they want. They'll step on you. You know what I mean? Like, far as like, they said, well, these niggas, they, they got inst civil rights instituted. So I can move a little bit freely. Well, we can use those laws and get into school. And you know what I mean? We won't be shot in the street and murdered as regularly as regularly as them, particularly since they helped pass these laws. So that's good. But other than that, fuck these niggas, right? Who needs them? So anything that you do that they can benefit from, right? They'll take that, but other than that, they're not interested, you see. And so Nikki Haley, you know, this pandering she does to the in-group, you know, to the dominant, you know, groups. Well, you know, that's good as long as it lasts, you see. So that's why she didn't mention slavery, right? How she had a slavery, you know, uh, 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 brain freeze where... She didn't understand. And slavery, see, they tell you the Civil War was about slavery. But see, the, they don't tell you the rest of the story. The rest of the story is it wasn't about white people are not humanitarians. If they was, they would have stopped the slaughter of 20-some thousand people in Gaza 
and 10,000 children. But they didn't. They cheerleaded in America for the most part, right? So they're not, they're not humanitarians, right? And so slavery wasn't about them being humanitarians and trying to stop, help black people. Slavery was a power struggle between the two white groups in America. The ones in the North who also had slaves. Don't let them, don't let them fool you. New York had slaves. Rhode Island, all these places had slavery. Wall Street was a slave encampment. All that shit in New York. Right? So they had slaves all over the United States. Right? And so it wasn't about uh, free and helping being a humanitarian helping stop slavery what they it was about power struggle between the two dominant groups in America and because the south has free more free labor they that power structure in the south which was ran by uh help being run by a white Jewish man named Judah P Benjamin look it up right who led blacks into slavery in America, and it's funny that they now, you know, they don't support reparations and that they're now running an apartheid state in Palestine and genociding, you know, 10,000 babies, right? And all kinds of, you know, weird shit. But anyway, I digress, right? So, yeah, so they, 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 they're not humanitarians. This whole thing, was about a power struggle between the two white groups and they were because of the they had the majority of the free labor they were amassing huge amounts of influence power money and it looked like they were going to take over the group in the north and the slaves were fundamentally at the base of what was giving them their power and wealth so what did they do? They said, well, we got bad slavery. They wanted to even the plan field. You see? They was like, yeah, we got to get rid of, you got to get rid of slavery. And the ones in the North South was like, yeah, nah, fuck that. We ain't getting rid of these slaves. You know, we make, you know, in today's time, we make, we would make trillions, if not billions, billions, if not trillions of dollars off of these slaves. So why the fuck would we, we get rid of them? We not getting rid of our slaves. So that and then that kicked the that they started fighting, and there was a power struggle about who and what groups were going to rule America and chop up the pie. It wasn't about helping black people, because right after they freed the slaves, they put twenty thousand black people in concentration camps that were trying to escape the South and killed them and starved them to death. You see, in Natchez, a place called I think Natchez. Right? They they gathered up to free the free slaves that was running. They, so if they was trying to help slaves, why would, if you trying to help people, why would you know? And these were local people. Local people caught slaves that were escaping. Twenty thousand of them. Local white people. White people said, oh, "We didn't have nothing to do with slavery. We didn't have no slaves." Right? These people. Right? Gathered up the escaping slaves, put them in concentration camps, and then uh, either shot and killed them or starved them to death. You see. These are friends in America, like Nikki Haley, you see, who don't want to talk about slavery, right? And this shit goes way beyond slavery, right? You know, um, when you talk about, you know, how they were raping children and impregnating them and then selling the babies. I mean, all kinds of shit, wild shit they was doing, right? And so, yeah, so this is why Nikki Haley, she doesn't want to bring up slavery in a room full of white people. And then there was a man, if you listen to the video, who insulted the dude in the back who asked the question. He said, well, I'm not running for president. And then some man said, well, I'm, that's a good thing. Why would you say that? Because same thing as Nikki Haley, this white man don't want you bringing up slavery because it makes it easier for them to do crimes today like what they're doing in Israel because if you bring up slavery then you gotta talk about Israel and apartheid and you know genocide and ethnic cleansing of Indians and niggers and we don't want to talk about that especially while we're still doing it right we want to be pretend to be somebody that we not 
So, you know, we want to play games and shit. But but the time for playing games over with. You see, so it's, it's very time to show you. So it's some prophetic things to that. Let me let me stand by. Joel three and seven. Now, if you if you don't know, Joel is a prophecy from the Old Testament. Joel, um, this was a dream that Joel had. It's only three pages, and they wrote it in the book. And it's a prophecy of the end times, and it describes the reason why the Lord of Hosts will attack the earth and why he's going to destroy the planet behold I will raise them out of the place where you have sold them and I will return your recompense upon your own head Nikki Haley don't want to talk about slavery but she ain't gonna have to cause Nikki Haley going into slavery along with a lot of these white people unfortunately you see and why do I believe that? Because it's written in Joel 3 and 7. And this is an end time prophecy. Joel said the Lord of hosts told him this thousands of years, hundreds if not thousands of years ago in a dream, right? He came to him and said, this is a prophecy for the for the bloodlines, the original bloodlines of the earth, right? For the Israelite tribes, right? That's going to be spread out the, amongst millions in the earth. And he said, listen, Joel, write this prophecy down so that one day in this holy book these people will have a prophecy and they'll understand and they'll know why I'm going to do what I'm going to do and why I'm coming right when I arrive they'll understand what it's about and who see so this is salvation you have to be saved from Nikki Haley and her lies and her hypocrisy you have to be saved from the people in the audience right that Nikki Haley is, 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 is talking about she don't know nothing about slavery to you gotta be saved from those people that's salvation Joel 3 and 7 is salvation uh, talking about the salvation of the slaves the descendants of the slaves right behold I will raise them out of the place where you sold them Nikki Haley wasn't sold the people she's talking to wasn't sold but my grandparents were you see so it makes sense to me so they're gonna be raised out. They didn't it, see. That's why you know the people in the in the in the uh, state of Israel. They're not the real Jews, because the real Jews will not be found in a fake state of Israel when the Lord of Hosts comes. That's the prophecy you're looking at. It. The real Jews, he said, I will raise them out of the place where you sold them. You mean like Brazil? You mean like Baltimore? You mean like Compton? You mean like Texas? You mean like Houston? You mean like Denver? You mean like New York City? You mean like uh, uh, Toronto, Canada? You mean like Mexico? You mean like Colombia or Cuba? I will raise them out of the place where you sold them. You mean like Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico? I will raise them out of the place where you sold them and I will return your recompense upon your own head. Now, I think that's pretty clear. That's why Nikki Haley don't want to talk about slavery. See, karma is coming for them. So you don't got to talk about it. The Lord of Hosts, he wants to have a talk with y'all about it. Like, I don't want to talk about it. I ain't interested, right? I'm waiting for your day of judgment because I know what's coming for y'all. You see, I know what's coming for y'all because I read the book of Joel and I believe it, right? Why? Because Jesus said, in the, in the book he said believe on me as the scripture has said right and out of ye shall come rivers of living water something to that effect I'm quoting off the top of my head right believe on me as the scripture this is a scripture right and it said that uh, uh, I will raise them out of the place I will it didn't say the UN it didn't say uh, the state of uh, the Israeli Jewish man it didn't say uh, the Balfour Agreement in 1910 and the Zionists it didn't say any of that it said I will the Lord of hosts in my armies will raise them out of the place where you sold them where was the where was Benjamin Netanyahu sold where was his family sold to nobody he's from like Uzbekistan some fucking where right where are all those people from right where is Jared Kushner he's a Jew where, is he, where was he, his family sold to? 
Nobody. His family sold black people in America. Judah P. Benjamin was the second in charge of the Confederacy, was a was a racist Jewish man. Right? These people sold black people. Kanye West don't owe them an apology. They owe you one. But you'll never get it until the Lord of hosts come. But then it'll be too late for them to apologize. It's too late now, right? But these are the people that are trying to make you apologize to them. The same people that sold your motherfucking grandparents, right? Into slavery. To be tortured and work for free for hundreds of years, right? And now the synagogue of Satan is over there massacring children and bombing churches on Christmas and sniping old ladies inside of churches, right? But Kanye West got to apologize, and Nikki Haley, she, she don't know what slavery is in America. She don't know what the Civil War is about, what's going on in the Civil War, right? Nikki Haley don't know what's going on, period, but she about to find out. Just like a lot of people is, right? Because them prophecies are going to come true. It already, a lot of them already have, but a lot of y'all, it's too stupid to know it. Right? You're too cool for school, as they say, right? But you're about to get, uh, you know, an adult education very quickly when the Lord of Hosts returns in short order, right? Because these prophecies are moving fast. I don't know if y'all know this, right? So with this whole thing with Nikki Haley is prophecy. Stand by. I tried to tell y'all before, right? Joel 3 and 3. And they have cast lots for my people and given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl that they might drink. What does that mean? They cast lots. What happens when you cast lots? Right? Cast lots is an auction. I mean, you know, one, 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 somebody want to get this car right here. You know, got the blue blue Chevrolet. Going once, going twice, going three times, one, two, three, 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 three. you know what I mean? When you go to the auction. I ain't do a good job of that, but you know what I mean, right? You cast lots for my people. You auction off little boys and girls, you wicked people, right? You auctioned off, you cast lots for the for my people. Who is his people? Is it everybody? No, the people, the only people that are the Lord of Hosts people are the people that you cast lots for. Not the the slave master and the slave don't have the same God. You fools. Do you understand? They have cast lots for my people, right? My people. That's possessive. That means the other people are not my people. Nikki Haley is not my people. The people she's talking to are not the Lord of Hosts people. The people who got sold, their, their grandparents were sold, and, they, and their descendants is his people. It's who he's looking for, the descendants of slavery. And he ain't talking about 5,000 years ago. He talking about uh, uh, 1992 in South Africa. He talking about uh, uh, 1965 in America. The, those people. Right? He's talking about Brazil. He's talking about the descendants, the Christian, uh, the Semites in Palestine. Those people are his people. Not Nikki Haley. See, that's why Nikki Haley got a problem with, with talking about slavery. Because she is not a child of God. Her God is the synagogue of Satan. The people that she's defending that's killing 20,000 people, 10,000 children. That's her God. That's, that's her God. The synagogue of Satan. Satan is their God. Right? The Bible says he was a murderer and a liar and the, and, the, and the father of lies and murder. That's their God. That's why Nikki Haley lies about slavery. You see? Homage and respect to her God, Satan, the Antichrist, the devil, right? And his, and his leadership on earth, the synagogue of Satan, Revelations 2 and 9, the false Jew, right? And the American, you, the worst thing in the world to be is an American in the day of the Lord of hosts, right? And they have cast lots for my people and given a boy for a harlot. What does that mean? That means that you sold a boy, a little child, a little boy into whoredom to be, to have sex with, right? 
homosexuality with children, child rape. You rape little boys. They were raping little boys in America, butt breaking, right? That's America. They were butt butt breaking and selling little boys and having sex with them. That's why Nikki Haley and those white people don't want to talk about slavery. They say they don't talk about that. Nikki Haley, you Indian immigrant, running for president, right? And they sold a girl for wine that they might drink, right? You traded bottles of wine for little girls so you could have sex with them, little children, and rape them, have rape parties. That's why these white people don't want to talk about slavery. They have committed heinous atrocities against the children of Israel, right? Against the original bloodlines of the earth. You call them black people, you call them Indians, you call them indigenous, you call them niggers, you call them whatever you want. Right? But when the time comes, you're going to be sorry. It doesn't matter. So I don't care about reparations and you don't want to talk about slavery. The Lord of hosts going to talk to y'all about slavery. He's talking to y'all in Joel 3 and 3. Right? He's talking to y'all, but y'all not listening. You claim that America is a Christian country. How is it America a Christian country? The Bible is telling you about slavery, right? And you never fucking mention it. Right? You can't even form your mouth to say the word slavery. Because you guilty as charged. And that Joel convicts you. And it's the only thing waiting, the only thing now left to wait for is your judgment and your destruction. And you know that because you probably read the book of Joel. And you scared shitless and you pray against the Bible at night when you go home. See, Nikki Haley goes home and she a Hindu who converted to Christianity. But she had, she's, she, she converted to a racist, fascist, Nazi, white supremacist cult group called Christianity. Not the Bible. And she goes home at night and she pray against the Bible. She pray against the scriptures. She don't believe on the scriptures and the prophecy as Jesus said, right? She pray against the Bible. Her and them people in that room, every night they go home, they pray to Satan and pray against the Bible because there's no fucking way that they could pray for the for the prophecy of Joel to come true. Why? It would mean their end and their destruction. It's real simple. It ain't, it ain't rocket science if you ever read it. I ain't gonna make this too long, but... You know, so slave when she when when since she, it's time it's, it's interesting and very timely that you know we in the times that we are, and and she don't want to mention slavery. The Lord of Hosts wants to have a conversation with Nikki Haley and all the white people in America and in Israel and in South America and in South Africa about slavery. Don't y'all know that? The Lord is coming to look for y'all and he want to talk to y'all about slavery. So you can tell the niggas in America, listen, I don't want to talk about this. I'm running for president. I need to make white people feel more comfortable. The Lord of hosts going to make y'all very uncomfortable. Right? Trust and believe. That lake of fire is going to make y'all asses very uncomfortable. And that's for the Indian. And, and, and all of the people like Nikki Haley, all the immigrants like Nikki Haley, right? They don't want to talk about slavery, don't like black people in America, and all that kind of stuff, right? And you love white people, right? And you, you don't want to hurt their feelings. The Lord of Hosts host is going to hurt y'all feelings. That's nothing. That's nothing, right? Compared to what's about to happen to y'all, right? Let's take a look at that before I go. Good Joel tells y'all. All right, here we go. Let's wrap on Joel 3 and 2, proph prophecy. See, this time it's a prophetic time that we're in. And I will gather them. I will also gather all nations and I will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat is where they are bombing the Gazans right now. Stupid. Right? Bethlehem. Jehoshaphat where they cancel Christmas. And I will plead with them there for my people, for my heart is Israel. Right? Like people are pleading for them, please stop bombing these children. Right? Please stop bombing these women. I will plead with them, there for my people, for my heritage, Israel. 
Is he talking about Benjamin Netanyahu and all those white people in Israel from Europe? No, he's not. And from all over the place claiming that they are they, 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 uh, part of the 12 uh, tribes of Israel. No, he's not. Whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. What is he talking about? America has 50 states. You split Israel into the Gaza Strip and into Jerusalem and in into the West Bank. And you took all the land from them so you could have oil and gas, right? And that you could wage war on the people of North Africa, right? You parted South Africa. You parted Africa. You turned America into 50 states. That's all his land. He is the king of the, of the planet. He will rule as a king. It will not be a democracy, right? So he said, you parted my land. Why? It all, the whole earth belongs to him, right? And you scattered my people amongst the nations. You see? What are they telling you right now in, in Gaza? She's saying, kick these people out and go be a refugee in Egypt and in America and, and, and somewhere else. You scattered my land. You scattered my, you, you, uh, whom they have, my heritage, whom you have scattered among the nations. Right? You're kicking the people out of the land. And you scatter them among the nations. Is that really hard? Is it really that hard to understand? Or is people that stupid? I, I, I'm trying to figure it out. Or are you that wicked and corrupt? Which one is it, right? So those people that you scattered and you took the land and you made 50 states, right? And all that kind of stuff. They're going to be brought back. And then you have to be brought. Nikki Haley... And the wicked Indian immigrants and all the, all the immigrants got to be brought back for judgment. All the people that Israeli got to be uh, uh, got to be brought for judgment. The white people in America, it says right here, they got to be brought for judgment. It says, I will gather all nations. That means all nations mean everybody. And I will bring them down to Jehoshaphat and plead with them. You see? Meaning, he's not going to be like, oh... Oh, can you please stop? No, he's saying, basically, he's going to plead his case. He's a, it says, the Lord of hosts is a righteous man. He's going to make the case like I'm making the case, right? He's going to make the case like I'm making the case to y'all, like I'm pleading to y'all. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to make the case like a lawyer, line by line. You see, facts by facts, right? He's going to plead with y'all and, and, and outline his case against y'all. And then what is he going to do? He's going to pass his judgment. Right? Let's, let's end on that one. See, I do this off the top of my head, man. And if I do it, y'all can do it too. Right? Revelations 19 and 11. And I saw heaven open. And behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness, he doth judge and make war. See? Then I then I say that is that what I not, is that not what I said, right? And I and I saw heaven open, and behold a white horse, and he that sat upon the horse was called faithful and true, and in righteousness he shall judge you. This Joel Joel three I just read it, and in righteousness he shall judge you and shall make war upon you. You see, so when he says I'm gonna bring you into Jehoshaphat in the book of Joel. And I'm going to plead with you. This is what he's talking about. Revelations 19 and 11. Right? Like one of my favorites. The Coke 19 11, 45. Right? And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse. What does that mean? That means those ships going to crack that sky. Heaven opens and a white horse. You think an actual horse going to come out the sky? Stupid. That's what you think? That's what y'all believe. Giddy up. Giddy up. High old silver. A horse going to ride down on a cloud. No. And I saw heaven open. And I behold a white horse. A, a true man. A white horse. Truth. Purity. Honesty. Right? The ship's going to come out the sky. Heaven going to open up. You see? The ship's going to come down and crack the sky. Right? Hundreds of them, if not thousands. And he said, 
and he that set upon him was called faithful and true. This is a un, this is a true man, right? A righteous judge. He said he was a righteous judge, and he shall make war. He gonna make his case against y'all, just like I'm making the case, right? He's gonna point out what you with with the peak the faults of people like Nikki Haley and what they doing in in Palestine, right? And like he said, what you did to the Negro and the Indian and all the organic twelve lines of the bloodlines of the earth. He, when he said, I'm going to plead with you for my heritage, right? And I'm going to judge you, right? And after I judge you, what comes next? I'm going to make war on you, you see? So he said, once I finish passing my, pronouncing my judgments, well, you know what happens in war. It's going to make Gaza look like a picnic, right? It's going to make Gaza look like a, a day at the park. You see? Because he also, that goes back to what he said about, and behold, I will raise him out of the place and I will return a recompense upon your own head. You see? That's the recompense. You see? The recompense is what you did to Gaza going to get returned on your head. What you did to the, the Negro in America, Nikki Haley, she don't know what slavery is, going to get returned on your head. What you did to the American Indian gonna get returned on your head. What you did to the South African and the and the, and the blacks in Brazil, Cuba, Mexico, everywhere is gonna get returned on your head, as it should, shouldn't it? If you was a righteous judge like me, then you would say yes. See, I'm a righteous judge, right? So a righteous judge tells the truth and say yes, y'all should be judged according to the scripture, as the scripture has said. You see, I agree with the Lord of hosts, right? That's all I got.